Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to flash 10.2. Um, you don't really need an explanation guide for this because it's really quite simple and um, everything is pretty much explained. But I'm just going to show you I'm on 10.2. Dark Core 2.9.1, JVQ 10.2. Remember, this is a beta, so um, it is not a stable version. Uh, there is currently some problems with the ROM, and what we need you guys to do is test it out and see what problems uh, you encounter. So far, Robbie has probably um, got an achievement for the most reboots ever on JVQ. <laughs> I don't know the uh, exact number, but he'll probably kill me after he sees this video. But oh well. Right, so first of all, I'm just quickly, I just wrote this in like two minutes. Really simple. Are you on JVQ? Yes? Cool. CWM, go into CWM. Uh, make sure your lag fix is enabled. And if it isn't, then enable it, reboot the phone, and then go back into CWM. So just make sure uh, you're on JVQ. So, um, JVQ with uh, lag fix enabled. So JVQ, I'm talking about uh, the base ROM that Facetto released, um, the Deodext version. So make sure you have that. So if you're on that, then cool. Go into uh, Clockwork Manager. You don't have to wipe, so no wipe or wipe. It's up to you. Uh, you choose. Uh, you can also go through the Darky Configurator app, but not everything works. So I'll just show you what works or what not. Some things haven't been tested yet, so bear that in mind. So wipe the device, yes or no, you can choose. Kernel option, just leave it as uh, Dark Voodoo. Modem, leave it as recommended, JQ1. This is not the ones that will be flashing, it's just that as it's an old app, that's what it's going to run on. Uh, we're not sure if it runs exactly on um, the the app just right yet. Uh, just, uh, just yet, so... Yeah, Try doing these. If they don't work, then just manually install them. Ad hoc support is supported. Cycle battery icon not yet. Grace uh, settings not yet. Boo animation is supported, but possibly not the Nexus S one. Lock screen wallpaper fix is uh, not supported, but the rest are supported. So, once you've done that, I, I didn't even have the Dark Configurator app, uh, mind you, when I um, flashed over with no wipe. So, um, you can just bear that in mind. It installed the Samsung um, apps, uh, Swipe, installed live wallpapers, so it installed pretty much everything that was ticked in that Darky Configurator app. So once you flashed it, it will definitely take over five minutes to boot up. So you'll get a first boot um, screen, um, thus the 2.9.1 versus 2.9 Dark Core. You'll have a boot screen which says uh, Darky ROM, so um, powered by Dark Core, which is pretty cool. After that, you'll get a black screen. I mean, a black screen, literally like this. See, it's black. You'll get that possibly for over five minutes. You won't hear anything. Nothing will happen to your phone. It will just stay like this. Literally, do this and surf the web. So don't just stand there counting the time, how long it's going to take. Just leave it to the side. It will take some time. Eric, aka Serico, Robbie, Darky, and myself, all it took over five minutes. Um, Eric even took about eight minutes to uh, boot up. So do not worry. It will take some time. Do not pull the battery. Do not do anything. Just leave it. Some people even reported 15 minutes to boot up. Just make sure you got lag fix enabled um, because... Possibly if you have a lag fix disabled, then it won't work properly. If you have lag fix disabled, mind you, it won't even pass the first boot screen. So remember, enable lag fix. Anyway, after you've done that, just test it out. So smiley face, test it out. If there's any problems, report them in the darky room thread. Uh, post what you were doing or anything like that. Um, try and see uh, what could have gone wrong. Um, so far, there's some problems with uh, EDT. What I mean by EDT, and that's uh, to do with the lock screen. So when I flashed, I had the uh, lock, um, the SGS2 lock screen, like that. But if you flash with wipe, you might end up with the EDT lock screen. So what's the EDT lock screen? It's an app called EDT Tweaks. Right. In EDT Tweaks, as you can see, I just got super user permissions. So when you first boot up the phone, you might end up with a lock screen which looks as something like this. It's called a 4-tab one. 
4 tab one looks like this. Do not touch any of them except for the unlock one. Unlock it, once you've unlocked it, go into your app drawer, which might look a little bit different because I'm on Zeme Launcher, then go to EDT Tweaks and allow super user. Once you allow it, you won't run into problems with EDT um, lock screen. So I do that, goes into messaging, I do that, goes into phone, and when I do that, turns the phone into vibrate. So if you do that without enabling um, root permission, then um, your phone might reboot. Well, I say might, but most probably will. So do that um, before anything. So I'm just going to go back to my SGS2 one. And again, this is how you change lock screen. Lock screen cannot be changed by display. So here, display, it is not in there. So you have to go through the EDT Tweaks app. So bear that in mind. So as soon as you boot it up, first thing to remember is that. Once you've done that, everything else should run. I mean, I have flashed... Um, how many hours ago? I went to sleep. So 15 and a half hours ago. I have had no reboots, no problems. Battery does drop quite significantly when I was using it in my bed over here. <laughs> uh, mind you, what was I using it for? Um, I'm joking. I was using it for uh, checking mail and everything. I was making sure that everything was working. So instead of going on my computer, I spent a good half an hour in bed just going through my emails and replying to messages and on the darky um, ROM forums just to see if I got a forced close or anything. But at the moment, no problems. So that's that. Now, mind you, what about if you're not on JVQ? Well, you're not, sad face. So then flash JVQ base Deodex 2.3.4. I'll link it down in the description and post a video response below. So make that, uh, make sure you flash that. So back to step one. So once you're back to step one, so you're on it now. So then we go down on it and flash via clockwork. Remember, lag fix enabled before you flash. And once you once you boot up, remember, unlock, don't touch anything else, go into EDT tweaks and enable SU. If you do not find super user in the app drawer, simple. Go market, download super user. It's as easy as that. You don't really need any, any more explanation than that. No wipe wipe. So remember, when you do no wipe, you'll probably end up with super user. If you end up with a wipe, then you probably will end up without super user. So bear that in mind as well. So yeah, after that, don't complain, it is a beta, Darky released this, well at least in my opinion, released it for you guys to enjoy the beta, to enjoy testing it with us, because at the end of the day we were only about 6 or 7, I think possibly a maximum of 10, maximum of 10, which were on 10.2, and obviously the only problem we had was Eric um, had two reboots and Robbie had countless reboots I can't remember so those two guys had problems whereas me I had no problems and Joel had no problems so we need more people to test so Joel said what the hell let's just release it for beta although when I first saw that on the forums I told the guys what the hell <laughs> why did we release this so um, he released it for your you know for you guys to test it out but if you want a stable ROM stay on 10.1 if you want to have some fun, possibly have some reboots, possibly try and help the Darky team to make the best ROM out there possible for 2.3.4, then uh, please do help, but don't complain or don't ask for ETAs, because at the end of the day, developers, they take their time, they do their stuff, they've got other things to do. So, Joel has a girlfriend, she's not here at the moment, but, you know, simple example, he has a bike, he has other things to do, he doesn't have to only make ROMs, so, you know, in other words, he has a life. So yeah, there you go. So please uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any problems, but the best thing to do is to put it on darky ROM forums because maybe someone has a solution or um, maybe it's a new issue. So maybe Joel can read it. Hey, hey, thank you for that. I'll fix this. So um, when Eric first flashed, uh, flashed it, uh, he realized the problem and Joel said thank you um, for pointing that out. I'll try and solve that. So something to do with the widgets. So there's different there's a different array of a problem. So then why would you flash over 10.2? Well, one to help out the team. Two because it's much faster. It reminds me of 9.5. I mean when I when I use it, it reminds me of 9.5 as in the speed of it. Really fast. Um, I really enjoy it much, but much better than 10.1. At least for me, I've had no problems on it whatsoever, and I really find it 
very very fast indeed so see no lag whatsoever and also um, big up uh, Tribs for putting the RAM hack in it and it's implemented in here so there you go guys I hope you've enjoyed this video brief uh, description on how to flash it didn't actually show it in the video because I think it's kind of pointless if you don't know what clockwork recovery is then you shouldn't be flashing a beta simple as that um, however uh, if you are confused on any stage anyway, just post me a comment below. If you've got any problems with the ROM, post it on Darky ROM forums, which I'll link down in the description as well. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Please do rate, comment, and subscribe. And totally dubbed, out.